joining us now to tell us just what to expect are Julian Morrow and Andrew Hansen. Gentlemen, good morning. Uh, good, good morning. Thank you very uh, much for this cross-promotional opportunity. Yeah, it's wonderful. Absolutely. And to go straight from the need for multiculturalism to two white males. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, and let's cross-promote the hell out of this, shall we? Now, uh, firstly, Julian, let's, 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 let's start with you. Um, have you got any brief, particular brief, or dare I say, particular targets for this series of the hamster? Well, uh, our main brief is defamation. Uh, mm, and very big on that. Yeah, we're fairly confident. Uh, we're going to be running some obituaries in this, uh, this season of the hamster wheel, but for prominent Australians who are still alive. So they'll still be able to sue for all the jokes. So we're pretty confident that that's going to go well. And uh, we know that the ABC legal department's looking forward to it as well. <laughs> yeah, that's so, right. I think the first obituary is, is the one on uh, Gina, Gina Reinhardt. Gina Reinhardt, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just in case she passes away, we thought we needed these things things on, on the shelf because, you know, you never know when famous people might go. You've got to look back on their life and celebrate their achievements and their poetry in the case of Gina. <laughs> yes, you never know. How, do, how are you guys going about wading through what uh, is obviously hours upon hours of TV news and current affairs to uh, get the stuff that is worth poking fun at? Yeah, we, we have a team of, of logging slaves, we, yeah, we in call India. them. We, we have this yeah. outsourced Indian. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're, they're not really, they're actually comedians. Yeah, we actually we do, hired yeah. young, young, this is the truth, young comedians to have a look through all this stuff with, with, a, with a bit of an eye for, for comedy or for In fact, they're watching work. right now. So <laughs> yeah, they, they, they will yeah. be logging this because, yeah, series two, we've got an increased focus on making fun of ABC 24. So, <laughs> so we're paying careful attention to this program. Well, that's, uh, now we're, we're, we're already Jonathan Holmes' plaything here, guys. I uh, thought you knew that already. <laughs> Yeah, well, um, we're kind of like the opposite of John, John, John West. Um, we take the jokes that Jonathan Holmes rejects. <laughs> yes, yeah, very nice. Now, uh, is it a collaborative thing? Do you all sit around, the chaser guys and those poorly paid, if, if not unpaid, <laughs> slaves? Do you sit around and is it by consensus that uh, it's like the, the, the white smoke coming out of uh, the Vatican with a new pope being selected? Uh, is yeah. there consensus when there's a, a good gag to be had or is there a fair bit of debate, discussion and dare I say, acrimony involved here? <laughs> well, we, we don't like each other, that's we, certainly true. We hate true. each other's clearly. guts. I mean, we, even to get the two of us together, we, we're not really together. I'm in a different city, but there's, <laughs> there's actually a thing down the I middle. can't do that, yeah. yeah see, see, I can't get in, <laughs> in there. But. Uh, but no, but in terms of how jokes get up, uh, we've adopted <laughs> the um, the optional preferential voting system. So whenever there's a, whenever there's a joke, uh, we have a secret ballot and about four rounds of elimination, and eventually what we find, uh, as with mainstream politics, the most safe, mediocre joke normally gets up. <laughs> now, we're just showing pictures there of uh, Craig Rucastle's, uh, how should I say, exchange with Tony Abbott last week. OK, all right, yep, thanks. Last oh, week. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. Julian, uh, Julian, 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 you're the producer here. This question's directed to yes, you. Yes, it's his fault. It's it is. his fault. <laughs> Now, uh, you know, we, and we did uh, explain the circumstances leading up to this uh, on, on the program last week, but uh, firstly, how, how's Craig feeling? Has he got over the episode? Oh, yeah. No, I mean, uh, it, it was fine. Look, the, the reality of these things is that if you understand the context, uh, there's not as much of a story to it as perhaps uh, the people who wrote the article for, for news uh, and didn't put their name to it might have might have thought. So, um, you know, uh, when, when these sort of things blow up, you've got to make a call about how to play it. We thought the best thing to do was to um, ensure that Craig apologised to anyone who was offended. But, I, but personally, I mean, I thought the story uh, was uh, a bit of a beat-up, except for the well, very well-balanced coverage on ABC News Breakfast 24, of course. Yes. That, that was excellent. That was excellent. Yes, uh, yes. We uh, but, but we do hate the weak and oppressed. That, that, that is definitely <laughs> our, True. our message. Uh, you know, that's undeniable. Now, uh, is it uh, going to be purely all about uh, what, what you perceive as wrong or funny about news and current affairs, or will we see some skits involved here as well? the hamster wheel. We have some very good sketches about the Prophet Muhammad, which we're uh, right. currently working on, and uh, we think, yeah, they'll probably fly under not, the radar. It's not true. But, uh, it's actually not true. Just in case you think that's true, <laughs> that's not true. It's, we don't. Yeah, okay. no, it's a, but it's, 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 like, it's like the Chaser shows always. It's a combination of sketches and topical stuff as well. Yeah, that's right. So look at what's in the news, but also, yeah, how the news is made and how a story can unfold from, uh, from, a, from a true story and then snowball into, uh, into a bizarre 
wild mixture of fact and speculation. Not uh, on News 24, of uh, course. Uh, not on News 24, not in particular on ABC News Breakfast, which was the, has been the subject of quite unjustified attacks by some of our colleagues in other media monitoring programs, but we won't dwell on that. <laughs> now, listen, guys. <laughs> Shameful. I, I've lost track in the course of the last five minutes. You've managed to tick off, was it mining magnates, Indians, Muslims? Andrew Hansen, just open up. You know, <laughs> you're talking about no, well-sourced defamation, lawyers. I'm, I'm telling you now. <laughs> well, there's just such such deep pools of hatred that drive us as a group that we really find that... Yeah. I don't like old people. No, uh, I can't stand I, I hate them. young people, I, too. I hate young people. We are doing a thing on young people in yeah, the show. Young suck. people, or, or as Today Tonight calls them, generation useless. <laughs> We're having a look at the media treatment of that. Now, uh, this has been many months in the making. I, was, uh, I worked with Chaz Lichidello and survived the experience uh, a, a few months ago. Oh, and I'm sorry to hear that. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm OK. It's taken a bit of therapy, but I, I, I think I'm <laughs> fine now. But this is back, yeah, in, this back in May or so, and even then he was talking about say, spending all night looking at tapes, undoubtedly with the help of these unpaid slaves you've got. So there's, there's obviously been a, mm. lot of, um, a lot of work to go through and, and potentially a lot of uh, great opportunities, visual opportunities presented for you guys. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I suppose the thing is that uh, there's a lot of work involved by Chaz, and that's why we don't really do much work at all. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're awake at, at breakfast time like yeah. this. He, yeah. His commitment to the show is so extreme that it's arguably a medical condition. Um, it's incredible, yeah, isn't he, it? He's yeah, been working yeah, no. on it forever, and we just turn up and ask him to show us what he's found. He does, but he loves... He, he, we, you know, we're literally recording, I think, I think every single news-related program in Australia is being recorded and watched... And watched by yeah, and watched. I know it's it's a real overkill <laughs> by Chaz and his and his logging slaves, and, and and then then we sort of get together and and try and find the the, the good stuff in all of that. So it's a, it is a mm. huge amount of research that goes into the hamster wheel. It's it's uh, which is why one of the reasons people say, "Well, you're only doing eight episodes. Why? Why are you so lazy?" And and we are lazy, but um, you know, but it is a lot of work. Yeah. And we have to have Chaz doing all the research because we're basically trying to cross promote our show on Channel Seven, Michael. Yeah. yeah so that's where we're going to wrap up the interview yeah. right I'm really now. Excited about that. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming to Channel cut, Seven cut, very fade soon. Fade to black. And fade to black. <laughs> okay. Okay. Julian and Andrew, we'll see the no, results. He's cutting us off. We'll see the results on Wednesday night. Thanks for having a chat, guys. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you.